It's time for another Dice Tower review with the Chief, Bart Brunchine. It's the Chief from the Dice Tower, and you've seen that I'm going to be talking about Love Letter. Um, everybody's kind of jumping on this bandwagon, but I got to tell you, I got it. It had 16 cards. I know everybody else has told you this. I didn't think I was going to enjoy 16 cards. It came in this real manly little pouch, little faux felt pouch that says love letter on it. Hello, look at that. And you know what, I had to have it. Now I wouldn't say I fell in love with it. Um, I will tell you I have no problem plopping this out right in the middle of the board game shop. There was some Warhammer stuff going on. There was some kind of Magic the Gathering tournament going on. Um, I think somebody's massive army was killing someone else's massive army somewhere in the store. Hello, I brought out Love Letter. And I'm a cop, and I'm six foot six, and I don't even care if my buddies know that I love this game. All right, I really like it. It's a deduction game, bluffing game. And this is, this is it. This is all it is, is 16 cards and um, like right here, you might get to be the countess. Come on, who doesn't want to be the countess? You could be a princess or even a female guard. Come on. Let's go in. I'll show you the mechanics real quick because I think most of you already know what this is. But again, it's a great bluffing and deduction game. Love those. Boom. So here's what you get in Love Letter. You got a little pouch. It's empty now. You got the rules. And I don't like reading these little books, but hey, uh, they conveyed the information just great and it's better than a piece of paper I gotta fold and refold up. So that's fine, give me the little rule book and it's gone. These are little player aid cards. They're very handy, they tell you how many of each type of card there are. So there's only one princess, there's only one countess, one king, two princes, so on. Then it tells you what the text is that's on each and individual card. And you can see the text is also going to be here. So, but what this does is while you've got this in your hand, it's just a great little reference for you to look at. And there's the little princess on the other side here. These are gone. All right, so then you've got these little uh, red cubes here that everybody is replacing with some type of heart uh, wooden hearts, metal hearts, there's all kinds of people just making a killing in the free market on little red hearts. That's what these are. If you, if you successfully went around, you have thematically gotten your letter to the princess in an uh, attempt to court her or to make her feel better about her mother being arrested, the queen, and you will get one of these. Um, the first person to, it changes based on the uh, number of people playing. Um, Four-person game, which is what I usually play with. It's the most fun, in my opinion. Uh, you will get four of these little cubes, and if you're the first to do it, you win. So, sorry, the first one to get four wins. So here's the cards. Um, and again, uh, you're just trying to, the theme of the game is to uh, either knock everybody else out, get them removed from that round, and then you'll win automatically. Or if you go all the way down and exhaust the deck completely, uh, then you just base it on whoever has the highest numbered card. So if I entered the game and we had this, if I had the king, I'm going to be higher than the guard and I win. Um, and the whole deal with the deduction and trying to smoke out um, who the other individual players are is like there's five guard cards. And if you name, um, a, you can name a non-guard card, so you're not going to name a card, uh, but you pick another player that's sitting at the table and simply say, um, you know, Jim, I think you have the prince. And if he has the king, he doesn't have to show me or anything. He just says, nope, don't have the prince. And we move on. Had he had the king, um, I've found him out. He was trying to sneak the letter through. He'll be out for the round, won't be able to win. And they all have different kinds of things. Like uh, the king allows you to trade hands with another player of your choice. So uh, if you're able to use a priest, if I can find one real quick, the priest is very good. It allows you to look at another player's hand. So I peek at a guy's hand or a gal's hand, and then as it comes around the next time, if I had the king, let's just say I knew that uh, you know it was near the end of the round and she actually had the princess in her hand. Well, I could steal the princess and I'd be good to go. The only damage or danger would be that at any time if you have the princess card in your hand 
and you're forced to discard her, you're out for the round. So if you have the princess, you want to make uh, darn sure you don't have to um, discard her. This is simple deduction, 16 cards, try to stay alive, use the different flavor text in order to smoke out what the other person has in their hand, or just try to basically eliminate them um, on the type of, or number of card they have, be the last person standing, you win the round, you get a little cube showing that you've got one of your love letters through, get four cubes, you've won the game. It moves in and out pretty quick, which is kind of nice. There's, there's not a lot of meat here, but there's just enough to entertain and simplicity. All right, you've seen it. See, look at that. Look at the princess. Tell me you don't want to carry that around. Come on, give me a big t-shirt with that on it. I'm wearing it. I'll wear it at BGG Con if somebody makes it. I'll just walk around with that, and I won't mind a bit. Now, I'm not wearing a tiara. Just telling you, I'm not going to do that. All right, why do I like it? I've already told you and we're gonna get in and out. Um, bluffing game with 16 cards. The text on there makes everything real tricky. You know, you're seeing the, the cards that have been played laid out. There's the one card that's pulled off the top and set off to the side, so you never quite know what's in there and what isn't. And I stink at this game. I can barely ever get my love letter through. Apparently I'm not tricky enough and I'm way too blunt and I don't write well, but I still like to play it. So give it a shot. It costs you almost nothing to get. If you don't want to drop the money on it because you're afraid of the little cute little pouch, just go play with somebody and you can carry it around in a box or something if you want. See you guys, Chief, love letter, give it a shot. Thanks so much for watching the Dice Tower videos. Find more great videos and reviews as well as our top rated audio podcast at Dicetower.com. You can also find other great shows at Dicetowernetwork.com. I'm Eric Summerer, and you've been watching The Dice Tower. The Dice Tower is sponsored by Cool Stuff, Inc., where you can find great games for great prices. Cool stuff in stock. Check them out at CoolStuffInc.com. <coughs>